hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this recap video how to day trade in today's session we're going to be quickly recapping eight trades I took today six winners two losses uh, and I think most of these are we were taken actually in the live trading room now you can day trade any market using these exact same strategies and techniques that I'm about to show you whether you trade futures Forex or stocks now understanding the risk don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose that is the bottom line and thanks to modern technology of course you can start off by trading on the simulator trade in sim until you get it right there and even then you start by trading the micro contracts whether you're trading Forex you can start on the minis you know start small and build from there get rich slowly as I quote and teach traders now if you haven't already please click on the description link below and you'll be able to actually order and request my free ebook the truth about day trading even better still subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with the uh, multi with the real the regular I should say multi videos uh, the regular videos that I produce and even better still come and join the day traders fast track program everything you're about to see on the chart how I do it all of the techniques uh, I teach you for $197 is over 40 PowerPoints there's dozens of videos and don't worry you don't have to watch them all uh, and uh, make no mistake traders this is a $10,000 plus program for only $197 I love trading and I love training traders it's my passion and also for a limited time uh, included in that 197 you can attend eight of my eight live free uh, well, I won't say free because you become a member but eight of my live and recorded two hour private group coaching sessions I've got hundreds of traders from all around the world attend these sessions or watch the recording so I'll give you a month free and by the way if you wish to sign up after that it's 197 a month ongoing but there's nothing you sign up front you can choose that at the end of the time if you wish to attend my sessions ongoing and so there's 6 to 8 p.m. there's handouts powerpoints it's very very comprehensive now make my mistake this is a ten thousand dollar plus program and the last program you'll ever need to invest in so let's get underway who can I blame this is one of the challenges we have in the industry everyone wants to blame I want to say everyone, a failed traders love to blame the educator they love to blame the strategy they love to blame someone else but traders in the end it's no one but myself that is the rules that I use for an example are, are quite mechanical and rules based in their approach and pattern based I'm going to be pointing out in a moment of a mistake that I made that cost me a trade but it was a simple mistake but once again it cost me a trade and what we've got to learn we've got to apply what we call emotional discipline that is if we make a mistake and even if it is a blunder something we do something that we shouldn't have done let's apply what we call black box thinking to it and rather than say why does this always happen to me why do you have to, you know why play the victim let's be mature about it and say where did I go wrong and what can I learn and what will I do differently next time that's what black box thinking is in the airline industry of course if there's a disaster straight away where's the black box what can we or how can we improve the industry and learn so this doesn't happen again that's what black box thinking is what can I learn what will I do differently next time what's great about this trade what did I do wrong and what will I make sure so I think you're getting the picture now the only reason what I'm about to show you the strategies won't work is either you don't apply the rules or the time frame is too quick is too fast for an example let me just show you this right now so this is live so right now we're looking at what we call an eight tick um, uh, Renko on the micro NQ in fact in 45 minutes I've got a live trading room session so just I'm starting after this I'm getting ready for the session now the different time frames that we use we use uh, subject to the speed of the market now typically this time of night it's in in the evening my time and it's actually 2 16 a.m. Central Standard Time normally this time of day we're using a 12 tick 
Renko because of the speed of the market uh, up to now during what we call the Globex you can get away with an 8 tick okay and by the way you can see those that follow me know I talk about pivot magnet trades all the time because they kick but trades they kick butt and so each one of these white candles here are our turning points and here are a lot of our trades that we have in the market that white line by the way that's the prior days close but let me get back to the subject here is that either these setups that I show you won't work because the time frames too fast and you get slippage and it's you know you just don't have time to get the trade on correctly or you don't follow the rules and unfortunately so many traders you know in this world of today who can we blame won't remember that and won't consider that just want to bring that up because I made a mistake today a silly rookie mistake one that I teach members every day not to make but do you know what I do with my members in the room I teach them and I tell them about it that's how they learn traders you know we've got um, <laughs> one of my members is quite cheeky he says Ray I love it when you tell tell us about these because we get to learn on your money So <laughs> anyway so what are we going to be looking at today we're going to be looking at the MNQ again but we're going to be looking at uh, the afternoon session the what we call I call it the New York close session so um, uh, I've got some private clients that I run a live trading room in the New York close up to the close um, uh, a few times a week so this is some uh, live trades taken in that room training these private clients now uh, here when we're trading a 16 tick you'll notice quite often in my different videos that I'll have different profit targets for an example if I was on a 12 tick Renko I'm only after $50 a day or if I was on the big contract I'd be after 700 a day per contract and the reason for that is that the higher the time frame the larger our stop loss so it's all stop loss related traders so if we look at this here so we're going to be looking at the 16 tick which is the maximum size candle I wish to be trading during the New York open or the, the trading session if it's above 16 ticks uh, and or if it's say if I'm looking at and that's a Renko by the way or if I'm looking at an actual tick chart the maximum size I'll be looking at is probably a 377 tick chart itself but if it's a Renko chart it's 16 ticks if the market is moving that fast so this is all because of the speed of the market the faster the market the higher the time frame I need to be trading but if it's any higher than that it's too fast I need to look at another market um, can, you know uh, or, or stand aside for the time being what this also tells me if I follow my money management rules which means that I never ever ever risk any more than two percent on the big contract I need and this is on the micro this is 10% of the value here's the big contract down here I need twelve and a half thousand dollars per contract now you, I know what some of you will say well hang on intraday margins you only need a thousand that is correct but what if your stop loss is two hundred and fifty dollars then some traders will say oh that's big not if you're making thousands a day it's not because your strategy works and so you start off on the micros and this is the beautiful part excuse me one moment you can start on micros if you don't have the account you build your account on the micros then you go across to the big contract but there's no cutting corners traders what actually happens is if you don't follow the rules initially you blow your account a couple of times you end up suffering from it's, it's if this is scientifically proven psychological damage it really is you start to question every trade you take etc etc so trust me this is how you learn and as you build your account if you're trading a couple of hundred thousand as a day trader you want to drop your risk down to one percent or 0.5 yes you have a lower return on capital but you know what you're going to be in the business for life so that's what we're looking at now you may notice on the micro I'll show you on this next spreadsheet we want to be allowing fourteen hundred dollars just a bit of a buffer there okay so just a bit of a buffer so let me just show you this most of you are aware in and 
of course I have a lot of members watching this so this is all included in your program anyway you get these spreadsheets but if you're trading with fourteen hundred dollars and we're assuming here that you never risk so when we put this in we're never risking any more than two percent of that okay which of course uh, is um, what's that twenty eight dollars so uh, over here we uh, let's see fifty dollars if I was to earn fifty dollars a day on this and I'll show you how we do that in a moment I have a potential there of earning ten grand a week within 25 weeks and remember just a quick reminder for anyone brand new I won't say a reminder but if you're new to my videos you only start trading an additional contract when you double your money we're using the markets money yes after 10 to 15 weeks as I say to members then you may consider adding your own capital don't do it initially earn the right you know when Jack uh, Nicholson said you know you can't handle the truth in that movie uh, so many traders can't handle the truth they want to jump in and what actually happens traders from a psychological point of view we tend to bring our personal challenges and issues to the trading table so if you're desperate for money and you're fearful at the time you're not trading with what we call fearless money you're trading fear based and that is a big challenge start small and build now as I say get rich slowly now over here let's make this $70 a day and I'm going to show you in a moment how we do that so on $70 a day I'm up within 17 weeks there I'm up to easily my $10,000 um, uh, a week income or whatever income you're after it might only be once again don't have to go by my goal your goal might be 35,000 a week now see where it says here and just so you know you're not going to be trading 100 micros you'd be trading 10 big lots at that stage okay you'd be trade because once you build your account from 1400 up to 14,000 there which would take you 12 weeks that is when you flip over or consider flipping over to the big contract the commissions are lower um, and and on the realistically you could be trading 100 lots on the big one and that's when you're earning the real big bucks 10 times that okay so uh, you will never be trading 100 micros you'd be trading 10 big ones but what's important what I show you here is you apply this same money management rules to trading the big contract now for an example today uh, in as you're about to see in a little under two hours and you'll see all the trades also I didn't take and this is after um, two losses and one of them was a blunder and we shouldn't even been one uh, a loss we we're up our $70 and that's my goal and this is also what I say to traders is that set a target hit your target and consider and this is a personal thing consider then either cutting down the number of contracts you trade for the day or go on the simulator or maybe if you're on the big contracts trade a micro for the rest of the day if you really must trade so my target as I showed you uh, on that spreadsheet is 70 a day uh, here we had um, uh, what was that eight trades so on eight trades the commissions in total are 1792 which hadn't come off that so you'd take 1792 off that and as you can see it brings you back to almost exactly your $70 now uh, as we get to the charts you'll probably be an I and I haven't I really can't remember the setups that I had this morning let me tell you in my world eight hours is a long time all right, we'll look at different setups now when you look at different setups I teach members remember I've got some highly experienced very very profitable traders that are pro traders and I've got brand new traders if you're a new trader or if trading hasn't been good to you up till now we start you off on one or two strategies you master those and you build from there okay in fact the two setups you want and I want you to remember this are the 34 B's and the 2 B's very very high probability um, uh, easy to learn trend following strategies we may even see a pivot magnet trade I'm, I can't remember now but we may that's another great trade it's it's on average an 85 to 90 percent trade and so if you've watched some of my videos you may have seen me talk about 
pivots and open high low and closes they are what we call predictive indicators predictive levels you must learn those they're easy to learn and they kick butt so let's get to the charts here I don't want to go past 30 minutes so uh, this right here um, was um, uh, this is on Central Standard Time so Central Standard Time I had what we call a 2b now traders this is where experience comes in and for newer traders you've got to be very cautious now a couple of things here see that pink line just there that pink line is the prior days close and that will act like a magnet and you can see it acts as support resistance now all of my indicators here are included uh, the open high low and close and the floor pivots are basically available and should be free on every trading platform and I don't trade my members don't charge my members sorry for all of my indicators you get all of those um, free so what I was about to say is that what you can see here is we're pretty flat here so this is a higher risk area now what we actually do here is we use what we call an anchor chart or what I call an anchor chart here which is on the right there and I actually use two anchor charts I've got multiple screens so it makes it easy to have three time frames up now initially this may seem confusing to a newer trader but it's very easy to get your head around it. it's fairly it really is once you understand what we're looking for and we're really just looking for the main information here so I had my first trade just there and so my first trade here uh, was what we call a 2b 2b is one of those very very high probability trades now when I trade uh, I call these steps okay now on this time frame this is a 16 tick Renko each step is worth four dollars or forty dollars if you're trading the big contract four or forty so on my first contract I'm after five steps which is twenty dollars so we call these steps and seven which you can see I hit down the bottom there a bit above below the low um, seven steps here is 28 or 280 on the big contract now what we're looking for when we trade is to confirm a move in the market see how we're sort of sideways here higher high higher high no real lower low be very suspicious but here I now formed a new lower low here I then formed a lower high lower lows and lower highs are a footprint are the footprints to a trend and so that ended up being a slingshot and a 2b in one thank you very much I then had another trade set up fairly much straight after that I pulled back and basically that's a 200b or a t12 right there and this is where I made a, a, a major blunder I want to say major it wasn't major but the fact is you've got to be focused what we do traders is when we have a deep retracement what I want to do is make sure that the candle on your anchor chart chart now I know these are technically they call them bricks on Renko and once again you can trade this on tick charts it doesn't matter what type of chart I love Renko's okay and tick charts and Renko's I, I trade with but here um, where is it here just there it's hard to see but that green candle is a big tail and that looked like the candle was going to close now why do I want the candle to close well see how I had back in the direction of where I wanted to trade see how I had one two three four prior candles were all green they were telling me at least temporarily I'm in an uptrend so do you know what I want to do I want to make sure that this candle closes back in the direction of the trade that I wish to or the direction of the uh, trade that I wish to enter now it looked like it was going to close and so I jumped in beforehand and before it closed a silly silly mistake and, and you know you may say well look it's mine and no it's not because I got stopped out and I know better okay um, so that cost me a trade there 
now on the micros uh, that's only uh, $56 okay so each lot each contract there is a loss of $28 but that would be 560 uh, per lot and as a five lot trader that can really hurt you into trading the big contracts and remember what happens is uh, even though I trade the big contracts but on the micros you if you fluff up here and, and get uh, uh, slack on what you're doing on the micros you take that over to your big contracts you've got to apply the exact same discipline when trading micros but anyway so that was an, a rookie error easy when you knew but I, I should have known better and I do know better now we apply black box thinking you jot it down in your journal and you learn from it now straight after that then I then had we call this a bet the farm trade it was a 2b as well and a bet the farm trade now a bet the farm trade trade is, is a very high probability trade and so um, I'm not going to go into the rules of a bet the farm but we see them set up every day every one of these we see set up can just multiple times a day and down there uh, I picked up my five steps and I picked up a tick down four ticks below my exit I was fairly lucky here that um, I got actually out of that and even with that one that tick down five ticks below that was three ticks I think and what actually happens once I hit five steps I go to break even on my uh, second contracts or contracts uh, and by the way five steps in this kicks butt you could trade just five steps if you wanted to you'll hit your target the only thing with that uh, your risk is $25 and your X or 250 on the big contract uh, and a target of 20 or 200 on the big so your risk reward but it's probably a good 85 percent 80 85 percent trade so it's very very high probability so I had a loss so when we go the room starts that's a 2b uh, we're talking away by the way so the room opens at 2 p.m. Eastern ah and the reason of course today we had what we call the beige book comes out and uh, the beige book is one of those red flag news announcements that comes out I think it's it's every eight weeks or something you don't want to be in the market so the market just spiked temporarily there we're chatting away there was a 2b and that's a legitimate legitimate trade there you had a 2bd again then we had um, a 2bd which I didn't take but then I jumped in on this one so we've been going for I don't know how long then and in this one this is where I what I call took a haircut now over here we had some major divergence we had a high high on price and a nice divergence trade and over here high high on price and look at the divergence on the MACD so that was a really nice divert and I wasn't on that I do not trade divergence in front of members you will see me in lots of recordings uh, where I either trade live or where I've been trading divergence and the reason being is for newer traders I don't want them to trade divergence until they're consistently profitable as a trend trader divergence is beautiful in hindsight but you've got to really know your stuff now here this was a 2b this is when I then decided to take I call it taking a haircut and that is if I think things may have changed or conditions are changing and after major divergence quite often we will roll over uh, so I got out there for about a $100 loss on the big contracts or $10 on the micros and we call that taking a haircut so it's it's also got another time another term which I'm not a huge fan of. it's called probing the market and so you probe the market it goes against you let's get out and and uh, looks like it's going to quit and sure enough it did actually roll over from there and I know we'll have a lot of members watching this as well that was it I entered this t20-1 so as we know a t20-1 is very high probability after major divergence we had one there but the t the, the it didn't set up we didn't get that lower high thank you very much and I got my five and seven now that there we're talking away that is a 2b again there was another 2b these ones we weren't on by the way uh, they're all great 2b's and remember we're talking in the room I'm explaining each of these as they set up but then I jumped on 
this 2b now this is one where I only picked up uh, five steps and then it retraced now if I hit my first target um, I'm happy to go to break even on my second because I'm quite happy to re-enter the market so here I pick up my um, uh, my five steps I get stopped out on the second when I say stopped out we're covering our commissions and I'll usually if I think it's going to be a deeper pullback I'll lock a bit few more ticks in so here I then had another 2b and same thing picked up five got out there um, stopped out well that is when I say stopped out I went to break even plus a few ticks on the second and there I then wrapped up my live trading for the day then we're heading into the close the market close after that so this is the New York close so the bottom line was there traders if we look at these trades the safest form of trading for a new trader is trading with the trend naturally traders you only need three four five golden trades a day in this business don't get caught up with the the hype of the unrealistic returns now seventy dollars a day on 1400 what is do you know what that is that's a five percent return per day and two B's you get a ton of them every day but what you've got to wait for though traders is wait for the trend like here the only reason two B's or you'll fail with this is if you don't follow the rules do I have a trend now here it's very um, there's very set rules here on trading is when we hit this sideways price action um, uh, we call this do we have a fanning of the EMA see that there that's what you call fanning when you see your EMAs bunched together that's the danger zone that's what we call sit on hands and this is where also traders we um, incorporate our anchor charts because what we're ideally looking for is with our anchor charts do we have a fanning of the EMAs also on our higher time frame so look over here yes we do look at look at this here is a classic pivot magnet trade by the way and that right there is another t20-1 so traders I've covered a lot of information uh, in this so hopefully uh, you found um, uh, a couple of ideas there that you can apply better still come and join me let me teach you how to day trade using these strategies but one thing that's absolutely critical traders is you've got to apply what we call emotional maturity you've got to learn to trade with what I call fearless money you've got to wait for the trend now as Mark Douglas says the best way to master the art of day trading is to learn a strategy that is pattern based and rules based that's what these strategies are they're based on patterns which repeat each and every day and once again no you don't have to learn all of these now in time you will um, I've got members now that have been in my training rooms and coaching rooms for five years um, uh, and the reason I keep some of them are full-time traders and really to succeed as a trader I learn something every new every day um, I really do you've got to become what we call a student of the markets so 197 you can get to join me and also you can get to attend my live coaching sessions if that time doesn't suit you can always watch your recording and of course I give my members full email support so please uh, come and join us I'll see you in one of my rooms thank you traders hope you enjoyed the video